All right, so we have been very busy, or rather not busy in another sense. So we haven't vlogged much the past couple days. In fact, I haven't seen Chu in person since, like, Friday. So we haven't had much time to vlog together. And the best vlog that I was able to put together came out on Thursday, which was us taking Gracie to the park and her running around the park, and I made a music video of it, and it was pretty awesome. But... I haven't had the energy nor the time to really do much vlogging other than that. It's been very, very busy. I've had, just for this upcoming week, I've had a ton, a absolute ton of either homework or like work work to do. And so vlogging has kind of was put on the back burner because I've been very low energy, very feeling crappy. And so I haven't gotten any done, but I wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, so here we are. I wanted to talk about an idea and I'm doing this totally off the cuff. I just want to put this together. I may turn it into some more elaborate thing in the future, but something that I came up with while talking to, um, Anthony, a guy I work with at freedom. And that's regarding what I consider tutorial culture versus school culture. Now there's this generally popular idea that anything you want you need to know, you can learn from the internet and school doesn't really teach you anything. And to some degree, that could be true if you're talking about actual, like, direct translation things you do. Like, if school isn't going to teach you how to make this specific intro in Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro for your YouTube channel. No. So sure, you may in theory think that learning video theory or video production theory or basic editing in school is useless when you could just look up a YouTube tutorial on how to edit a video. Not true. Well, yes, if that's all you want and that's all you're going to use the skill for is to just go make this intro and then you're never going to really mess with it or go beyond that and all you want is what that tutorial can teach you, then save your time and money and just look up the tutorial. What school does, and generally speaking, obviously there's bad schools, there's bad education requirements. Some people just frankly don't give a crap enough to learn anything from school. But typically what the educational systems do is they teach you to think. They don't specifically teach you to do this, that, or the other. They teach you to think. They teach you how to come up with how to do it. For example, let's apply this to graphic design kind of stuff. Because this actually affects me personally and is really freaking frustrating personally. Anything technical related to graphical design, graphic design, I can do. I can do pretty much everything you throw at me in Photoshop. And I can do a lot of stuff in InDesign. I can do some Illustrator stuff, things like that. Like I can physically build the graphic design. How? Because I've spent the past five years of my life looking at this tutorial or that tutorial or this other tutorial, and I know how it works. What I don't know is how to apply proper design principles, and that's not something you can get as easily from tutorials. And even if you can, those are the tutorials that people complain about. Blah, 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 I just want to learn how to do this, quit talking, shut up, show me how to do this. When in fact, these people are trying to teach you how to actually learn to do what you want to do. And it's really frustrating to see that because what a lot of people provide in the slower tutorials are actually what you need to know. For example, I know how to utilize various effects for color correction. I don't actually know what to do to make color correction look all that good. See, see, what, see what I'm getting at? Tutorials will teach you how to go through a process. Tutorials won't teach you which decisions to make and when to use the process is. And this applies to lots of things outside of video and graphic design and school and things like that. But that's what I'm applying to it. You know, that's what I'm applying it to at the moment. But it's an issue that I think is a problem. And uh, I've had multiple people within the past couple months, which is really what's got this going in my brain, that have asked me to just show them how to do this, that, or the other. Or to just straight up do it for you. For them. And I, I've declined. Like, used to, I was this really nice guy. Sorry, my computer's telling me it's getting hot. Yes, I understand that. Used to, I was this really nice guy when it came to doing tech stuff. And i just show you how to do it real quick or do it for you. 
An example was someone asked me to team viewer into their computer and set up their stream settings. This would have been at least the third time I've done it for that person. When you have to do something more than once, that's when you need to learn how to do it yourself. And that's what I did. I, w I probably looked like a total asshole, but frankly, I was just like, no, I'm not going to do it for you. You can look up tutorials, and in fact, if you look up OBS tutorials, you're going to find my tutorials first, so you'll still be learning from me. Um, but I'm not just going to do it for you because you're going to need it again in a month, and you're not going to know what to do. If you go look up, and yes, I am referring to tutorials here, but it's the same kind of mindset of, I want someone to show me how to do it versus I want to learn what's going on so I know which decisions, what decisions to make. And if you look at this in context of my OBS tutorials specifically, so like there's a bajillion commenters, and I made a comment not long after I put the tutorial up, which has been like two years ago now, um, but saying, no, I'm not going to tell you which bitrate to use if you give me your bitrate. Instead, I'm going to show you what you can use to do it, but I'm not going to tell you. So many people are just still commenting and still angry that I'm not telling them which bitrate they should use for their specific upload speed. Sorry, that's not my job. I made a tutorial. I'm not here to handheld you through your specific process. You should learn to think critically and troubleshoot it yourself. That's what tutorials are meant to be, is to guide you, not to be step by step exactly what you follow because everybody's system, everybody's system is different. Everybody's video editing project is different. Everybody's Photoshop project is different. If you just follow a tutorial step by step, the only end result that you're going to come out with is the same end result the tutorial maker came out with. In most cases, that is not useful to you. And so, for example, in that OBS tutorial, I picked out my bit rate, I, I, ran, I showed them how to run a speed test, found my upload speed at the time, showed them, made a rough estimate based on that, and pointed them towards bitrate calculators. That's all you need. Here's how you do it. And I think the tutorial culture is this culture... I, I've always hated these arguments, but I'm starting to see some light to it. A lot of the older people like to say that the millennial generation is a really dumb generation because they rely on the internet for so many things. Then the other side of the argument is, well, the internet makes us a lot smarter because now we can we have all this information at our fingertips. But I'm really starting to see the other side because yes, we have all this information at our fingertips and how are the most of us choosing to use it? They're not using it to make themselves smarter. They're using it to just be lazy. Oh, this information is here on the internet, therefore I don't need to learn it, I just need to reference it whenever I need it. That becomes a problem. And yes, there is a lot of things, there are a lot of things that you don't need to just learn and memorize by heart when it's right there on the internet. But it's about how you think, it's about critical thinking, it's about troubleshooting. I feel like I'm one of the last people in my generational area that actually, and obviously I don't mean one of the last people, but I encounter so many people that are the opposite, where I, I learned, I didn't learn how to use this specific piece of technology or that specific piece of technology. If you hand me a random phone and say, hey, you're good with computers, fix this, I'm not going to know what to do just right off the bat. And people got really frustrated with me in the past, especially at like, when I worked in Easy Tech. It's like, oh, you work with computers all day, why don't you know how to fix my phone? It's like, because I've never touched this phone. This is my phone. It is not your phone. I've never touched yours. Yes, I know, but what gives me the... Uh, I'm, I'm following two different points here. So, no, I've never touched your phone. This is the only smartphone I've ever used, like, lengthily. And so it's going to take me a minute of going through the menus, and you're going to think I don't know what I'm doing. When, in fact, I know exactly what I'm doing. Because I know how to troubleshoot the phone usage. Because instead of knowing how to use your specific phone and fix this specific issue, I know how to find the cause of the issue. I know how to look through the settings. I know how to, you know, fix general issues. And I know how to f narrow down your issue and then go fix it in general terms. And then it takes me maybe five seconds to apply it to your interface. Because everything works the same. And that's a big generational gap that I've seen with, like, the, what I'd consider me to be like the pre-millennials, the like right before the millennials, and some of the older folk, is that 
Like, say there's this older generation that knows how to apply things in theory. Then there's my, what I'd say I'm in. And then there's the millennial generation. The millennial generation knows everything about how to use a specific device. So they know how to do everything under the sun with their iPad, hand them a Galaxy tab, and they're like, what the hell is this? Older people know how to do some basic stuff on basic things, but if they want to learn and go through the settings, like I'll use like my grandmother as an example, she'll know how to do something on her computer, but if something looks totally different, she'll freak out and not, you know, not know how to do it. That's very, very common. Whereas where I stand, you know, I have like the little logic comfort zone of, yes, this looks different, but the same theories still apply, so go fix it. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense here. I'm just talking because I've wanted to rant about this for probably a long time. And so what I was getting at was that I have learned to troubleshoot and to think critically on systems. I, I know how to do it in theory, therefore I can do it in specific circumstances. Whereas if you just look up a tutorial of how to fix a problem, and I get this slack kind of a lot of the times on my like troubleshooting tutorials that I've done for like fixing Chrome or something. They're like, well, that's different on my computer, so your tutorial's wrong. No. Every computer is going to be different in some way when you're troubleshooting. You ha it, Here's the main source of your issue. Figure out how to fix it and apply it to your system. Otherwise, hire somebody else to do it because you're not willing to think strong enough. I don't know. That's enough ranting for now. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Let us know what you think about us trying to get vlogs up 365 days a week. A, a year, rather. That would be terrible to try to get 365 vlogs up in one week. I would not be able to do that. I can barely do this. But let, it, let us know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about the webcam footage. You might have seen a color change midway through, or like right at the start of the video. I forgot to turn on my studio lights I've set up, which is for this reason. There's a lot less ghosting. It should be a lot smoother. And otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Pew, 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 pew. I don't fucking know. Okay, bye.